feel free to peruse your personal data to jog your memory. Introduce myself. I'm Sierra, your dedicated operator. Nice to meet you. I'm glad you seem to have woken without issue. Does your body feel strange at all? Let's see. It looks like you were completely purified of the F factor. What's that? You look flustered. Is your memory a bit hazy? The medical bureau said that might happen. Allow me to be forward then. Your dedicated operator, Sierra, at your service. I'll get you up to speed on the situation. Roughly two and a half years ago, on AP 238-220, you embarked on an ARCS enlistment certification mission on planet Navarius. After that certification mission, you immediately distinguished yourself as an ARCS operative and set out on numerous adventures. You fought False Spawn and Dark Falls, as well as the ringleader of them all, the Profound Darkness, and achieved remarkable success. Yet the profound darkness broke free from its eternal seal, and under desperate conditions, you and Persona fought to the bitter end. As a result of this, you succeeded in liberating the girl you once protected, Matoy, from the clutches of the profound darkness. However, Persona fell victim to the profound darkness and became a toast. And that's where our story picks up today. Wow! Giving you the abridged version's wild! To think I'm in the presence of greatness! Uh, sorry, where was I? At present, it's been about two years since the revival of the Profound Darkness. I understand if you're having trouble processing. For you, only a moment has passed. After multiple wars with the Profound Darkness, you were put into cryosleep so that you could be purified of the F-Factor. The battle between good and evil has raged all the while. But don't worry, Arx is still going strong, and so is the universe. And now, you're back! Arx is complete again. But, as is so often the case, it's not quite that simple. Why have you been roused immediately after being purified of the F-Factor, you ask? Well, we have a request for you. Oh, but before I talk about that, why don't you roam around the ship a bit? Or perhaps head out and explore briefly for rehab purposes? I'm sure there are tons of folks who have been awaiting your return for the past two years. boss if you're dropping in to say hi I guess things must have settled down a bit huh how long has it been since we've spent quality time together 
I heard you were just sleeping, so I wasn't worried or anything. But getting to meet up and chat sure puts my mind at ease. I guess you think I'm exaggerating, huh? From my perspective, it was a pretty long time to wait. P prettier? Well, it has been a while. I'm changing and growing all the time, you know? I see what you're trying to do. You can try to embarrass me by saying weird stuff, boss, but it won't work. I'm used to you teasing me, so you're gonna have to try harder than that. Uh, boss? Personal space! Personal space! Jeez, you never give me any warning! Any funny business, and Matoy's gonna hear about it! <laughs> Going through this song and dance really drives home that you're back for good, boss. I should have said so earlier, but... Welcome back, boss. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Remember me, yes? <laughs> you flat out forgot who I am? I am Katori. Katori, your beloved bouncer, who is now the elegant maiden of legend? A legendary magnet of customer complaints, you mean? <laughs> Small wonder, considering you barely helped with promotion, Saga. It certainly is difficult to make a name for ourselves that way. But with help from our great friend, the Bouncer class has found universal acceptance. Many operatives were evidently inspired by you to try new classes and weapons. Your actions have inspired greater Ark's diversity and Bouncer class adoption. Along with all that time Katori wasted saying, a great operative once used it too. That wasn't a lie! I do not lie! Even if you didn't use exactly what I was advertising, I'm sure you were aware of it at least. And if you started using them for us in the future, then everything I said would be retroactively true. Diversifying your offense makes it easier to handle adverse situations. That much is true. The more of us that realize that, the easier it will be to deal with future crises. And given the new issues we have to contend with, if you need our help, just ask. <laughs> exactly right. The strides I have made were all for your benefit. As you can see, Katori hasn't changed much. She'll probably just get in the way. But, hey. How could you, Saga? Listen, not not in his general direction. Magnifique! Simply brilliant! Wouldn't you agree? Behold her exquisite form! Impeccable! Elegant! Soft to the touch! The only word worthy to describe her is... Perfection! But, most importantly, she loves me and will always be by my side. Hmm... Très belle! What? You do not know of what I speak? Hmm? And who might you be? Forgive me, but I find it difficult to muster interest in anything that doesn't concern my darlings. My name is Pietro, and this is my beloved Katarine. I do not believe we've had the pleasure Allow me to divulge all about my beloved child. About the unique glories of being a summoner! Summoners were established fairly recently as a new arcs class. As a new calling to follow. The best feature of being a summoner is your children. 
Summoners head to the field of battle with their lovelies in tow. The boorish call them pets, but to me, they are my irreplaceable, darling children. You see? By conducting pets with their weapon, the harmonizer, the summoner class performs a glorious melody of exquisite eradication. What do you think? I assume you understand and want to give it a try, correct? <laughs> do not be shy. Be a summoner. I established this class so that everyone can understand the sublime happiness that these little ones bring. <laughs> oh, Katarine, you naughty girl, you. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Shall we pay a visit to the cafe, then? I must bid you adieu. May your life as a summoner be a happy and fruitful one. <laughs> now, now, Katarine. No need to rush. Your food isn't going anywhere. Ow! Ow! No teeth! No teeth! After all this time, gotten used to moving around yet? If anything comes up, anything at all, don't hesitate to give me a holler. When it's all said and done, I am your dedicated operator after all. Moving right along, the Ark's Admiral has an important request for you. Please direct your attention here. A long time no see. Do you remember me? It's Ulk. <laughs> Believe it or not, I was appointed Admiral. I heard that your memory might be foggy. I really wanted to see you in person, but Xiao's been piling a ton of work on me. You'll just have to settle for my voice for now. I promise I'll meet you face to face next time. With that out of the way, I have a request for you. Lately, ARC's operatives that seem suspicious have been popping up here and there. The Intelligence Bureau is looking into it, but Kazra isn't reporting in like he should. My gut says he's hiding something. So I'd like you to do some investigating of your own. We've marked unusual ARC's operatives. I'd like you to keep an eye on them at all times. I'm sorry for heaping this on you first thing after you woke up, but Kazra can't complain if you're on the job. I appreciate it. And that's the end of Admiral Ook's message. So that's why she wanted to talk to you, huh? Makes sense. Things have been pretty rough over here since I took over for Admiral Ook and Shao. I've been dreaming of the day I could ask you for your help. Anyway, let's get preparations underway before it's go time. Please come to me when you're ready. Oh, and lastly, Ark's organizational structure has changed a great deal while you were under. If you're interested in the nitty-gritty, feel free to ask me at your leisure. treatment, Ark's organizational structure underwent dramatic changes.
first, Ulk became our admiral, Ark's top brass. Theodore is her adjunct. Each of the six is now also in command of their respective bureau. Huey is the commander of the combat bureau, and Clarice Craze the third is the lieutenant. Maria is the commander of the General Affairs Bureau, with Sarah as its lieutenant. Regius is the commander of the Training Bureau. Zeno is his lieutenant. And then there's Kasra, the one we keep having trouble with. He's the commander of the Intelligence Bureau. When establishing policies for ARCs as a whole, the head of each bureau and the Admiral hold a meeting to draft their ideas. Upon establishing the ship overseer position for us, shall return to the mothership to focus on his calculations. That's right! We're overseeing the ship in Xiao's stead. <laughs> Impressive, huh? It's been about two years since I was born, but I had an adult mind and body from the very beginning. <laughs> By the way, according to Xiao, my personality was modeled after Admiral Ux. One last thing I should mention. There's a special title within ARCs called the Guardian. Guardians don't belong to a specific bureau. Rather, they are unique operatives who can act as they please. You and Matoy are both Guardians now. That makes me your dedicated operator, Guardian. I think that about wraps things up. Watch out, Universe. We're gonna do great things together. direct request from the Ark's Admiral uh, to investigate the source of the false spawn appearances on Navarius. Huh. It's the first I've heard about this. And the Admiral sending out an underling like me? Is that really a thing? Maybe, just maybe, they're trying to keep an eye on me. Uh, there's no way that's it! This place has always been buggy, and this definitely doesn't seem right! Me? Under suspicion? That's gotta be some kind of bug! Plain and simple! What are you so afraid of, Hitsugi? Just do what you always do! Come on! me. My name is Sierra. I'm the ARC ship overseer and operator. A pleasure to meet you. And that there is your new mission partner. Huh? Y yeah, that name rings a bell. Oh, right. The renowned ARC saw from the war against the profound darkness two years ago! Uh, but, but... Uh, why were you paired with me? They've only just woken up. It's a long story. Just consider this a joint operation for rehabilitation purposes. You're right. For rehabilitation. Yeah. A ship overseer and operator? Plus being accompanied by a key operative from two years ago? This can't be right. Got to be suspecting me of something. Why has it come to this? Did I show a little too much enthusiasm? Did I come off as too much of a tryhard? Uh, 
Itsuki? Uh, <laughs> right, uh... It's reassuring to have you as a companion. It'll be a pleasure to work with you. Anyhow, uh, let's get going. Together, I'm sure we'll get this dealt with quick and easy. Off we go. By all appearances, male. But his mannerisms defy convention. Definitely quite a character, that one. I can't help but think he's up to something, though. Let's keep an eye on him. is that? Whoa! What, what is it doing? Watch out! I'm getting a strong reading. False spawn? No! Something worse! I've never seen a false spawn reading like this. Don't tell me it sensed you were awake and came looking for you. Did 
you see that? Wasn't that awesome? I mean, I am an art sop after all. When I go all out, something that puny is no match for... Suki, don't let your guard down. My sensors still detect its presence. Huh? But I thought it was gone! <laughs> what? My arms! I can't move! What's going on? What's happening to me? Someone help! What? Right! The power of false spawn, or rather dark false, is being neutralized? I see now. So this is the power Xiao spoke of. My arms are free again! I should be able to log out! Are you all right? The false spawn reading has vanished. But where is Hitsuki? society and a bed to rest my exhausted body huh? that's right this is earth mother earth third planet for the sun i'm in my room so on that bed is my come on it's okay calm down let's take some nice deep breaths Hitsugi Yasaka, age 16. The year is 2028. Uh, the day is... I can't remember. I'll finally be a high school junior this spring. This is Earth. I'm in Tokyo at school. This is my dorm. I am not in PSO2. I am absolutely positively in the real world. So this must be a dream. Whatever's on that bed is an illusion, a product of my imagination, my eyes playing tricks, sleep deprivation. Yep. Where... am I? Oh my god! It spoke! No, no! I'm just... hearing things! Hey... where am I? It's looking right at me! This is no dream or illusion! Is something wrong? Are you in pain? Are you alright? Stay put, you! I'm trying to drag myself back to reality so I can accept what's going on! Uh, okay, Hitsugi, you can roll with this. <clears throat> first things first, who are you? What's your name? Hitsugi. That's my name! I'm asking what your name is! Your name! If it's not Hitsugi, then... I don't know. Oh, 
Are the monsters gone? Oh, what a relief. I guess everything's fine now. I'm not even sure which way is up anymore, but... You saved us. Thank... You... Their vital signs are stable. There's no need to worry. I'm more concerned about those enigmatic monsters. They weren't false none. So what were they exactly? So much for a simple rehab mission. You were suddenly teleported to unknown coordinates. And then this battle... There's a lot to digest. We have to discuss what to do next. Would you mind returning to the ship for a moment? any after effects that's a relief once again I will share some information with you on the current state of the planet you were recently teleported to it's in a dimension of the universe entirely separate from ours with Oracle and everything it exists beyond subspace it's not a planet that exists in our universe in all likelihood it's in an entirely different dimension a parallel universe, if you would. It's certainly not somewhere you should be able to travel to and from with ease. I'm currently investigating the details. It's but one planet in this other dimension, and is inhabited by intelligent life forms. The name of the planet seems to be... Earth. By the way, when you went to Earth, were you able to have a normal conversation with her? Do you remember? At any rate, Earth language data has already been collected by the Intelligence Bureau. Also, no sooner had I reported the situation than the Intelligence Bureau registered a substantial amount of data on the planet. I think 
think it means they have been collecting data independently. Like Admiral Ook said, I can't help but be suspicious. It's plausible that the Earth's coordinates and teleporter destination hasn't been set properly. It's dubious as to whether or not that was truly the case. But either way, that's no longer relevant. Thanks to the contact you made with Hitsugi, we were able to establish a connection with Earth. It remains unclear how and why you were able to do so, let alone set foot on that world, but my hypothesis is that the photons reacted to Hitsugi's call for help and your desire to help her. Uh, I digress. Point being, you can now go to Earth whenever you want. I should point out, however, that this is a covert operation. With your photon recognition cloaking and spatial separation ability, you can roam the Earth without being outed by its photonless beings. This technology comes straight from the Intelligence Bureau, so I'm a little concerned. They say Mai's innate abilities are generalized, but honestly, I have my doubts as to the origin of this tech. It's fishy, no matter which way you slice it. We'll need to investigate this even more thoroughly. Oh! Right! I just remembered another important piece of info! I haven't seen any readings of that Dark Fall since it appeared on Nevarius. I'll do my best to track it down, but it'll be like searching for a rock in an asteroid belt, I hate to say. My whole spiel aside, it's not exactly an alternative, but your connection, your link with Hitsugi, is quite strong. See, when you tried to save Hitsugi as she was engulfed in darkness, you actually repelled it by touching her. When that happened, it's like your photons flowed into her, and you were then able to pick up on her reaction to danger. Thanks to that, you were able to save her just in the nick of time. You turned the tables on potential disaster. Meanwhile, we were able to collect some bits of data, making it easier to ascertain the current state of Earth. <laughs> Talk about convenient. Using ARC's technology, we can take said data and recreate a video of Hitsugi's daily life. <laughs> Say, what should we look at first? Oh, no, no! I swear by Xiao that this is purely reconnaissance. All part of the job. The only ones who are going to see it are you and me anyway. So, it'll be fine if we keep the details on the down low. All joking aside, it's critical that we collect information, as we really don't know anything about this planet or its intelligent life. I do feel a little guilty about invading her privacy, but our work comes first. Let's have a look while we have a chance, shall we?